Hi, my name is Joseph Flukiger, and in this uh, tutorial I'm going to explain how to design a template in TraceFinder 3.2 in the new uh, reporting engine, which is spreadsheet-based. So here you'll see the list of templates, and to open a template you can either double-click or hit the Design button. When the designer surface opens, you'll see on the left-hand nav a list of uh, samples and or compounds, depending on your compound type, uh, depending on your reporting type. First, you'll probably want to set your reporting type. You can set it to either batch, which will repeat the data for all samples and compounds, or to sample or to compound. Here we have the high density sample report, which is a sample report. You'll notice that when I switch from sample to batch, the left nav, um, the samples on the left nav will disappear because the report now displays all samples and compounds. If I switch to compound, then you'll see a single compound with all samples. If I switch back to samples, you'll see all the results, compound results, for a given sample. Okay, up at the top you'll see the ribbon, and this will look very familiar to uh, Excel. You have the file menu through which you can save or save as. You can back up a template. Backing up a template will cause a backup to be stored here in the backups folder with a date time stamp so that each time I choose backup, a new backup will be created. You can edit in Excel, but we'll get back to that in another video or you can archive the template. Archiving the template will cause the template to be moved into the backups folder as a backup and will cause it to be removed from the available reports list. If you want to restore a template, you can manually move it from the backups folder back into the report templates folder. And that will cause it to show up here. To get this list to refresh, you can hit the new button for that name. Okay, so those are all the functions in the file menu. Next you'll see the home tab where you have the typical Excel formatting functions which will allow you to bold, italic, underline, the selected cells, you can do most of the things you can do in Excel as far as formatting goes, including merging cells, wrapping text, uh, setting alignment, Here I'm just demonstrating some alignment and some merging functionality. Next you have the ability to insert. You can insert cells and shift to the right. You'll notice that you need to, uh, you can't insert when there's uh, merged cells. So you may want to unmerge your cells. And if you wanted to insert an extra column, it's telling me I need to unmerge this. Now I can insert, I still have a merged cell, A20 through B20. Right here. There we 
we go. Now I'm able to insert that column and adjust my template accordingly. I can also insert a sheet and begin designing um, a, the second sheet of this template. I could make this a batch report, for example, and we'll get into inserting content in the next tutorial. You can delete a row or column, or if I wanted to delete an entire sheet, you'll notice it works very much like Excel. Let me put this back to merged and centered, and let me turn off that background color. Next you'll see the formatting menu in which you can change the default width, the column width, or bring up the formatting dialog. The formatting dialog will give you options for formatting your numbers, changing your alignment, your fonts and font colors, your borders. You can also click on this uh, icon here to open up the dialog for alignment or the dialog for fonts. Very good. Okay. You'll see conditional formatting. We'll come back to that, to that in a later tutorial. And you have the ability to show formulas, which will expand out. Um, the bound fields to show their respective formulas that they're bound to. Okay, next let's talk about the insert tab of the ribbon bar. Let's go ahead and insert a blank sheet and let's drop on a table. So say I wanted to list out all the samples in my batch and display the sample raw file name, the file position, any comments, and I can go ahead and insert those into my report. Let's make this a batch report so that it does not filter by sample and I can see all of my samples. I can auto um, adjust the width of these columns by double clicking on that column. Okay, a few tips about tables. To open up and edit the data table, which is bound, you'll notice that uh, bound data is delineated by these red uh, shapes in the four corners of a table. You can't drag those. You'll notice that uh, fields have a single delineated icon. To edit a data table, right click and choose Edit Data Table. You can um, sort on a column by selecting that column here and choosing this icon here. cause a sort to happen by that column. And you'll get this um, um, A through Z um, text when you're sorting by that column. You can also uh, choose to repeat the header per group if you'd like to display. For example, we're grouping on the, uh, we're sorting and grouping by the bio position and so all the Samples with file position 1 are displayed here with the header for that group displayed above each section.
You can also move, change the order of your columns. Now you'll notice in this uh, version of 3.2 um, that if you switch the order of your columns, the formatting doesn't necessarily shift with it. The formatting stayed with this column. But one way you can get around that is by inserting a, col a new column in this way. This will add a new custom field, blank custom field, um, in, the, in your table. And uh, you'll notice that the vial position will shift it down along with its formatting by using the insert. I can now either add a custom field into this new position that I added Or I could add a non-custom field. <laughs> and my formatting for that column will stay in sync. You notice that you can also edit your table headers here directly in the design surface, but you're not able to edit the data. Any edits made to the data here will be wiped out when the data is refreshed, but any edits to the headers will be persisted. A couple tips for finding the field that you're looking for. Sometimes this list of fields gets rather long. You can use the quick search to search through that list of fields. You can also use the select, which will select all of the filtered um, fields. Or you can choose the None, which will remove all selections. Let me cancel out that because I don't want to undo my selection. And you can also add a custom field, but we'll get back to that one in an another tutorial. You also have the ability to filter. So let's say I wanted to filter by equals C, and that will filter down to that value. We'll talk more about table filters and advanced formulas in another tutorial. We'll also talk about pivot tables in another tutorial. If you would like to delete a table, you can click the delete icon, which will remove that table from the design surface.